Hello guys, good day. I'm back again for another tutorial. This is HBT tutorial for your basic setup, installation, and configuration for VG Dial and Go to Dial and other open source applications. So for today's tutorial, guys, we will continue our setup for Go to Dial version four. So for today, I will teach you on how to create your new campaign on the oh, in the Go to Dial. Okay, so you, for the new campaign configuration, you need first to log in your account or admin account to your uh, Go Auto Dial. So, okay, so after you log in your account, you need, you can, uh, okay, so you can now access your admin account so right now this is your admin panel so also this is also your real-time call monitoring okay uh, and then first uh, to create your campaign this is one of test campaign you can go to telephony campaign and then you can add new campaign campaign then this one is add disposition add leads recycling or add area code so for now we are in on add campaign and then this one type of campaign so for campaign details we you have here outbound inbound or blended uh, outbound it means they they can only call outbound or making uh, auto dial or predictive dialing okay so other one is uh, inbound okay for incoming calls only and blended for inbound and outbound calls so we will choose the blended and this one our first campaign okay um, like the, I will set to main campaign main campaign and then you need to add your color id so color id of the campaign so i can write any number for now and route to where do you want the whole route in group by default and the uh, carrier campaign prefix so this is the important on the campaign so that your outbound and manual dial calls will be passed through when your agent making calls so you need to match your prefix to your carrier so for uh, in go to dial you can select your uh, campaign uh, here so from now we don't have uh, enabled a uh, carrier so we, we cannot select any uh, prefix so this one is a conto custom prefix so I will set 9 by default so you can next uh, dial method is auto dialed so you can set predictive or inbound month okay so manual dial they can do manual dial when they log in on the agent portal they uh, when you click the manual dial they can they will need to press the next call or next call next number to call or like that auto dial uh, once the agent ready uh, it's a system will automatically dialing okay uh, you need to upload leads on that so we'll teach you another video for creating leads and uh, creating leads and upload the data okay this one the auto dial speed so this one you can you, you can if you want uh, slow normal high and max or max predictive or you can choose your dial level okay so dial ratio so that was two two is to two so once you have uh, one agent lagging the system will dial two numbers at a time or it depends on the campaign recording so you can set on demand answering machine so this one so that for auto dial it will filter the answering machine so if the call is goes to voicemail or answering machine 
so it will not land to agent to agent but this answering machine for asterisk is not is not 100 percent at least uh 50 i think it's 60 to 80 percent or something like that okay so now okay then submit and then save okay so as you can see we we have now a uh, uh, main campaign so for this one i can delete this campaign okay okay that one so from here you can add your disposition code for me uh, if I can I will add a disposition code uh, all come or this one for campaign a status like hung up or you can put this one uh, issue and then hung up priority one uh, select it means uh, from here if you can set if uh, this status is selectable uh, human answered or and etc etc okay then submit so that when agent going hang up it will show this disposition hang up and for this one lead recycling so for lead re recycling uh, from here uh, system especially if you are on auto diet like if you want to recycle your answering machine so delay is 18 uh it is a second how many seconds for 1800 like let me double check how many seconds in one minute so divided by so 1800 divide 60 so in every 30 minutes so this 1800 it equivalent to 30 minutes so in every 30 minutes uh, if they have answering machine on the system or uh, it will automatically redial every 30 minutes ma attempt how many attempt per day is maximum of 2 or you can set maximum of 10 so it will dial maximum of 10 every day until the ship over okay area code and cid area code and cid this it will use for the color id like if you're calling us they have some area code and cid you can add your area code over here so once the number match that area code it will show that number as your color id okay and for the agent let me double check and for the setting up the agent for the campaign let's double check our okay then you can go to the uh, settings user group so user group i uh, will i will continue with this one i will modify this user group all allow campaign so you can select only this campaign so that they can only see uh, the that campaign okay okay so when you log in your agent so let's try to log in our agent so So let's check if our campaign is active. Ok, 
okay so when i log in my uh, agent you need to select a campaign okay so then select in group if you have an inbound so submit okay so we are now on the new campaign or the main campaign okay so this is the looks of the uh, auto dial okay this is the auto dial uh, campaign so if we modify the campaign to manual dial let's see what is the difference so if i modify here i will set to manual okay then update so if i log out from here okay if i were lagging oh, so i need to log out first okay and then i will re log in So as you can see, uh, there are a big difference. So as you can see on this menu in this uh, panel, they don't see your the play button. So it means when you select the play, uh, you are ready and you are post. So this seems on the beach dial. And if you are ready to make a take a call, you need to click this one, and the system will dial the number. Okay so now we're going to back to our campaign so you can go to the modified and this one to another settings uh, from here you can set your local time so it means local time uh, the campaign time so that it will uh, time of calling it means so they schedule if you you can set 9 to 9 or 24 hours calling and if you have a script and then on the advanced setting you can set your default country code if you are calling us so you can set your uh, us custom fields on call login etc uh, call notes you can set your call notes enable get call launch uh, this one is a script uh, i think this is the script when uh, we will show you uh, this setup later about the script uh, this one dial code status this dial code status uh, this one will work uh, also on when you do a reset lead so this is only the actively uh, active uh, postcode or dial code that call tags so this only the dial codes that the go to dial or the system will dial so like the new leads the bc if you set if your lists are reset so this is only the dial status will be dialed again when you reset your list so you can add more if you want like the hang up so we can add the hang up okay okay so I'll go back again minimum dial digit so this one's a minimum dial digit on the system so if you 6 or 10 etc etc okay so the rest i think yeah this is the in group inbound call etc etc so from here you can set uh if you are the inbound mount etc you can select your in group here so this is my color id so i can update my color id over here so campaign color id then update okay so so from here you can do the manual dialing if you want to call something like if i call this my own number let's check if 
we can able to called yeah because we don't have a setting up a carrier so we cannot call this number okay so as you can see we is uh, this is what I'm talking the uh, additional uh, this call disposition okay okay guys so this is the tutorial for today on how to create your campaign on the go to dial version 4 and hope you are enjoying my video and don't forget to share this video and like it and if you don't yet a subscriber you can click the subscribe button so that you always updated on our latest video and then if you want a server we have if you have if you want a bps server or if you you can hire me as to set up your dialer you can contact me on the description below all my lead all my contact details is there so that we can we can catch up and um, communicate each other privately and how much the charge for the setup mostly i'm charging 100 to 150 dollars for the bitchy dial installation for single server bps or any other any other opera uh, mostly we, we i'm using rocky or amolinus for the installation because i'm for me it's more stable the scratch install than the busybox 10 or busybox 9 okay guys thank you and have a nice day see you on my next video and don't forget to subscribe bye bye